Super Earth, our home. Prosperity, liberty. Hi there. <laughs> Democracy, our way of life. Oh, hello. But freedom doesn't come free. <laughs> no! Sweet liberty! No! <laughs> Look familiar? Scenes like these are happening all over the galaxy right now. You could be next. That is, unless you make the most important decision of your life. Prove to yourself that you have the strength and the courage to be free. Join the Helldivers. Become part of an elite peacekeeping force! See exotic new life forms. And spread managed democracy throughout the galaxy. Become a hero. Become a legend. Become a Helldiver. So that's the uh, intro cinematic that you get right when you start up the game. Oh, apparently there's another one. Man, I can't believe we're actually gonna become hell divers. Approaching LZ. Next recruit, prepare to dismount. Liberating the galaxy, stomping bugs, every kid's dream. Good luck out there. I'll see you on the front lines. Okay, I, I haven't even gotten a chance yet to change my graphical settings or anything like that. I literally just started up the game. Okay, so let's have a look then. Uh, options. I really don't like games that do this, you know, where you you literally don't even get to change your screen settings uh you don't get to do anything and then the game just starts you know fortunately there's very few games that do this you know a very few developers that make this mistake but um it's just really irritating why is the vertical vertical field of view uh, isn't it supposed to be the hor horizontal field of view Either way, I normally play at like 80 or 85, so let's put it on that and see. Okay, that definitely changed the field of view, so that's fine. Uh, let me just have a look here at my MSI Afterburner so that I can actually give you guys some stats with regards to how the game's performance is. Um... I actually have two graphics cards in my PC right now, but uh, I'm testing the 3060. Um, but we're going to play with the 3080, obviously. Uh, resolution, we are going to game at 2K resolution. That's fine, apply. Uh, ultra quality is fine, I don't have an issue with ultra quality. V-Sync, okay, so where do you set the frame rate? Like, you can't even set the frame rate. I don't see anywhere where you can actually do that. Dynamic aim mode. This only works while the aim trigger type is set to all. And not when using a controller. If enabled, tapping the aim button will put you in and out of first person view okay well i don't even have a gun to aim with yet so i can't really test the, that at all um 
screen shake. I don't like screen shaking. We can turn it off. Like, I, I really don't like screen shaking. And I know some of uh, you guys in the past on some games have complained that it makes you motion sick. It doesn't make me motion sick at all. Like, I can play any games, even VR. I've played VR games and I don't get, get motion sick at all. But uh, I obviously have to consider you guys as well. Uh, graphics. Nope. I hate that. I hate that. We're going to remove motion blur and depth of field. Since literally all that it really does is reduces the quality of the graphics. It literally blurs your game. Why would you want to blur your game? Uh, everything else. Yes, yes, yes. No issues there. Render distance we can put on ultra because uh, the draw distance or the render distance is really quite important. Reflection quality we're going to put on medium because I don't really like reflections that much. Uh, no, I want to apply it. Why don't you just apply it automatically? Uh, blah, blah, blah. Yeah, that's fine. Push to talk. I don't know what the push to talk key is. We will have to see what it is. Disability. Okay, I don't see any um, colorblind accessibility. So I, I guess the game doesn't have colorblind accessibility. Push to talk. Where's the push to talk? Mouse smoothing is fucking terrible. Uh, where is the... Um, push to talk. Like, where... Oh, change key bindings. Okay. Uh, communication. Voice activation. Caps lock. Okay. Yeah, that's... That's fine. I don't have an issue with it being caps lock. Yeah, that's fine. Um, so yeah, what I'm seeing is that there is no colorblind accessibility options at all. And you can't set the frame rate of the game, which is fucking terrible. Like, I play my games at 60 FPS, but... Uh, what if you had a 144 FPS monitor, a 240 uh, FPS monitor, a 360 FPS monitor, or if you just want to play the game on 30 FPS, like a lot of people just don't have the required computer to play at 60 FPS, so they want to then play at 30 FPS. And the game has no options for FPS whatsoever. So if you have a 144, a 240, a 360 uh, hertz monitor, you are fucked. The game provides no way to set your FPS. You can set the V-Sync, which technically will uh, make the game run at your monitors refresh rate but that has issues i've i've found that a lot of times in many games the game does not um detect your hertz so you will have a 144 hertz monitor and the game will run at 60 fps when you have vsync enabled so that is why it is fucking crucial to allow you to set the FPS, and this game simply doesn't do that. So that's really fucking stupid. Um, but I don't even need to activate the V-Sync because I have a program on my computer which forces the game to run at 60 FPS. All applications on my computer are limited to 60 FPS, so I don't even need to change that. Um, but yeah, that, that's an issue. Like if you had um, 144 hertz, any any of the other... Uh, monitors that run at higher than 60 hertz then you are screwed and besides that it's really terrible in 2024 on a 40 dollar game to not allow the player to change the frame rate i mean that's fucking terrible 
Um, but yeah, anyway, otherwise than that, I don't see any real issues. Um, but yeah, I, I guess since we literally just dropped into the game, I should probably do my my uh, intro first. So uh, yeah, today we are going to do a first impression, let's play a review of a game called Helldivers 2. The game is $40 for the base game, I think $60 for the uh, Supreme Kamehameha edition where you get a whole bunch of other stuff. I'm not sure if the stuff is paid to win yet. We will have to see. You do apparently get a gun and you get some armor with the the Kamehameha edition that it is $20 extra. So um, we will just have to see if that is paid to win or not. I'm, I'm not sure if the game is... if, if those items are... Um, uh, pay to win. Uh, we we will just have to to see. Um, I, I'm I'm not sure. Um, but yeah. Um, as always, I'm going to be playing the game for an hour or two until I am satisfied that I can give you guys my opinion on whether or not the game is worth forty dollars. If you are in a hurry and you don't want to watch the full uh whatever hour two hours of the video today then you can simply skip to the last 10 minutes or so of the video i will put a, a timestamp in the description below so that you guys know where it is and you can just skip to that timestamp if you don't want to watch the full video if you only want my final opinion on whether or not i can recommend the game but Otherwise than that, you can just stay tuned, and uh, like I said, I will be playing the game today for an hour or two. I will be giving you my running commentary as I play through the game, and highlighting everything which, in my opinion, is good or bad about the game. And uh, yeah, like I said already, uh, we've already found out that you can't even change the frame rate of the game, and the game has no accessibility options. Um, there's also some bullshit with um linking accounts like when i started up the game it asked me to link a playstation account now i don't have a playstation account i've never owned a playstation so i don't have a playstation account and yet they say that you must link your steam even though i'm playing this game on steam and i bought it on steam they say that you must link your account with playstation now i did not do that i i I skipped past that but they said you must do it so we will see later on if I get prompted to do that uh, again uh, so uh, yeah we will see and then uh, the game today is not uh, provided by the developers I bought this game with the money that I get from you guys and your support on patreon so you guys have made this review possible today um, with uh, your support on Patreon. So as always, if you want to see more reviews, if you want, want to allow me to do more reviews for you guys in the future, then you can support me on Patreon. I use the money from my Patreon to buy games like this and do more reviews for you guys. So let's jump into the game, I guess. I like how, like, he actually moves forward without moving his feet like literally you press forward and he starts moving forward immediately before the animation actually starts like if you look closely you can even slow down the video like you press forward and you start moving forward without the animation even having started which is uh like you're you're essentially sliding like you start to slide forward before your your characters animations have even started see the game has a uh, stamina system So when you sprint, you lose stamina. I'm seeing a lot of tearing. 
the game really has a lot of tearing so um it shouldn't have like i said i'm limiting limiting it to 60 fps already but let's turn on vsync and see if that does anything okay that seems to have improved it there's also a lot of fish eye happening like there's quite a bit of fish eye happening if you uh or watching the, the video at 60 fps you will be able to see the fish eye um, it's obviously because i turned the uh the uh, field of view from i think 55 which it was to 80 but it shouldn't have that much fish eye on 80. a lot of games run by default on 75 or 80. So this game should not have fish eye on 80, but it really has quite a lot of fish eye. If we turn it even higher, you will be able to see the fish eye even more. So let's try 90. Yeah, now, now you can see the fish eye even more, especially when I do this. Like, look, look at that tower. Keep your eyes on that tower. And then you can see like that you can literally see the tower stretching and you can actually see the ground stretching as well that is what we call fish eye and it's really quite distracting especially when you swing your camera a lot because everything look at that everything on the edge of the screen like that tower stretches when it comes to the to the side of the camera so that's not good like that's a really bad fish eye so yeah i think we're gonna run it at 75 just to get rid of it, most of the fish eye you won't have such a huge amount of fish eye on 75 yeah that's a, a lot better it's still not as good like i said i play like far cry 5 uh, cyberpunk 2077 all of those games i play at uh, 80 uh, field view super earth's oldest and most grizzled war hero and i'm not easy to impress hell diver training is the toughest test in the galaxy but i can okay so why the fuck can't i go through impressive now enough jib jab the upcoming obstacles will take everything your exceptional physique can muster. This is it. The real deal. Get to it, soldier. In all my years, I've never witnessed such acrobatic perfection. I think you're ready for our highly realistic battlefield simulator. That's right. The real Okay, well, I did go prone, and then my dude just stood up for some reason. Impeccable! Like I always say, the best simulation is a real simulation. Now, activate the battlefield injury simulator. I'm hit! Sweet liberty! The blood! Teeth, soldier. Grab that stem and patch yourself up. Where? Where? Oh, from the injury simulator. It would be useful if they actually showed you um, where it was, but okay, I guess that's too much uh, effort. Use a stratagem now to take care of those bugs. 
Just make sure you take a few steps back. So you hold control and then you, you you look at the top left of your screen and you type whatever they tell you to type. Make sure man down. Don't sweat it, soldier. Friendly fire is just an unavoidable fact of life. Nothing at all you can do to prevent it. What you can do is use the reinforcement stratagem to replace your fallen comrade. So you hold control and then up, down, right, left, up. It's really stupid to be honest, but okay. Greetings, fellow Helldiver. Well done, soldier. It takes uncommon resolution. Load yourself up, recruit. This is the real deal. It's just you, the gun in your hands, and 2,000 megatons of explosives in close orbit. That's it! They even have uh, overlapping audio, which is really fantastic. Like, I just made the audio overlap by progressing too fast. Those unthinking bugs never stood a chance against a genius tactical mind like yourself. You are literally imposed. And I managed to do it again. Call in the big guns. Use the support weapon stratagem to get yourself a real weapon. That's the stuff. Now, use a resupply stratagem to get yourself some more ammo. I wonder what happens if you type the wrong thing, like down, down, and then left, down, down, right, down, down, down. Okay, so it completely cancels the thing. You have to do it perfectly uh, or else you have to start over. That's pretty stupid, but okay. Because playtime's over. You've reached your final test. This is the real deal. Get to it. This area is in dire need of liberation from the Terminid Scourge. Activate that terminal. Right, right, up, up, down. Okay, so it also cancels it. It, it completely cancels the entire sequence and then you have to redo it like shitty little mini games like that while you're playing a, a action game is just really stupid like do they want this game to be an action shooter or do they want it to be a fucking mini game fiesta you know Make sure you show it the proper respect. You've got to love the overlapping dialogue. Democracy, justice. They're in your hands now. General Brush, over and out. If I jump down here. What if I jump down here? Ok, 
Okay, are you guys literally gonna allow me to run infinitely? Okay, I guess not. Branded a traitor. Oh, well, let's try that. Okay, so that's pretty cool. So you you get bombed to oblivion if you uh, if you run away, like if you become a traitor. Yeah, that's at least better than just like doing some lazy shit, like teleporting the player away or immediately killing the player or anything like that. You know. Can you jump? Oh no. There's no jumping in the game. Reloading discards any remaining ammunition. I fucking hate that. Like, if I, if I want realism, I'll go play like a fucking war simulator. I don't want realism in a fucking arcade shooter. Cargo loading complete. Transport C-43 ready for launch. Name your super destroyer ship. Conviviality. Conviviality. What the fuck? <laughs> That's fucking... That's a stupid one. Let's take that one. <laughs> Best of family values. <laughs> Stupidest name ever. Congratulations on completing training, Helldiver. You're in charge of this vessel now. The democracy officer awaits you on the bridge. Welcome to the Galactic War. Open social mission. Press O. Okay, to join a mission. O. Long ship deployments are great for saving up. 
You get the family separation bonus, which more than makes up for the bunk and chow fees. Of course, I don't qualify for the bonus since I haven't been approved yet, but once I am, I'll have a nice nest egg saved up. Wow, they were really, really lazy with the lip sync. That is some of the worst lip sync I've seen in a game, in a $40 fucking game, in a very long time. Ship management. You do not have access to ship management yet. Complete missions and collect resources to upgrade the destroyer. I also really hate those type of confirmation things where you have to hold the button. I really don't like that. Ship's armory, you can get an overview of the ship's arsenal and prepare for the next mission. Fucking hell. Fifty percent chance to not die when taking lethal damage prevents all damage from bleeding. If chased hemorrhages provides a higher armor rating. Well, it doesn't look like it because the armor is literally the same. Increases throwing range by thirty percent provides fifty percent extra helm uh, limb health. But the stamina region is very low. Um, so I don't understand. I guess maybe the, the armor rating is not added to your to the, this rating. It's added to your overall rating. But that's really stupid. Because then you have to go back and look at your overall rating. Okay, so that's heavy. And this is medium. This one looks cool. So how do I see my overall... Ah, here we go. Helldiver, reporting for duty. Liberty guides my hand. Liberty, prosperity, democracy. I fight for Super Earth. Democracy for all. Liberty guides my hand. Ah, here we come already to the pay to win stuff. I heard that the game has pay to win stuff, so. I guess that's part of it. Obviously, if the game really has pay to win stuff, then I am definitely going to take that into my consideration. So I, I don't see where I where you can see your your actual armor. Like I, I'm clicking all over here. Like, I, I can't see my armor. Nowhere does it show my character stats whatsoever. So I don't know if this is actually increasing my armor or not. Because then this would absolutely be better. Let's take that one. Patriotic minds instituted the citizenship classification structure. Here at war, you may cast your vote many times. Once on election day, 
and another with every bullet you see the the voice the the lip sync is really lazy like they might as well not have bothered We cannot let the enemy any closer to Super Earth. And then they don't even have uh, voice acting in the game. That's fantastic. So you're gonna have to do a bunch of reading in a $40 game. Uh, freedom is under attack. The ter terminated outbreak threatens to spread out of control and probably of child probability of child eviscerations is at an all-time high what the fuck does that mean probability of child eviscerations is at an all-time high that doesn't even make sense in response our scientists have developed the terminate control system a planet-wide bug extermination network the terminate control system will be constructed on an unbroken line of barrier planets on quarantining the bugs behind them. The world leading to the ba barrier planets are crawling with terminates. This infestation must be clear, cleansed even. Uh, Major Orders represents the goal of the Helldiver community. Okay, so what does that say? The bugs are out of control. They must be pushed back. Where the terminate control system, blah, blah, blah. Liberate all the planets between Super Earth and the barrier planets. Okay. Uh, hovering over a sector shows you how much of it is... How much of it Super Earth has already liberated? All operations contribute to the to pushing the enemies of Super Earth back. Select the sector to see what planets are currently playable. Okay, so what am I supposed to do? Depending on war progress, different planets will be available. Select a planet to see what operations are active on it. Okay, so I can't select that, can't select that, can't select that, can't select that. Can't select any of these ones at all. no options whatsoever okay so i guess you have to you're forced to select from the uh, the active zone you can't select anything else oh i can't select that 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 so you literally have two options this one and this one Uh, an operation is a collection of missions. Complete all missions to succeed with an opera operation and gain bonus rewards. Failing one mission will fail the rest of the operation. Okay, well that sounds stupid, but okay. Uh, protect our way of life from the terminates by any means necessary. That gives me zero fucking information with regards to what we're actually going to do on the on the planet. Reduce the bug population by any means necessary. Protect our way of life. Protect our way of life. Okay, so I guess you can just select any... Um, any mission, any of these three missions. There's just three missions on this planet. I don't know if they are different this one is def operation defend freedom operation defend freedom 
and then operation bug extermination but you're not provided any information with regards to the the location meaning like is this a different biome or uh, or game setting than this one or this one you know like this one shows that it's that the local time is 2 a.m this one shows the local time is 6 a.m this one shows the local time is 10 a.m so i you you can choose whether you want to play at night or at day i guess uh, that's one thing that you can choose but otherwise than that there's no difference between them it doesn't show you the the, the payout like do 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 different missions have different payout you know it doesn't show you anything like that uh z orders what's that uh, the bugs are out of control extract from a successful mission three times okay so that doesn't fucking help at all I don't know, let's, let's take this one, I guess. Reduce the bug population by any means. Select the mission and get ready to dive. Well, I guess I will select this one. Holy hell, that's a lot of lag. Uh, you can't do anything else. Uh, can you change the difficulty? You see there at the bottom, difficulty. But it doesn't look like I can... I'm, I'm, I'm pressing doesn't allow me to change the difficulty so maybe you can't change the difficulty on a, on your first mission i don't know but i i i don't have any options to change anything on the uh the difficulty at all fdl jump successful hell pods prime Mission coordinates locked. Wow, the game has quite a bit of stuttering now. Select your drop location anywhere on the mission map. Try to avoid dangerous locations. Okay, so you can only land in this area. You can't land in the water. Extraction zone. So I, I don't know, like, I mean... You could just land right on top of them. Like, why? Why? What's the reason why you wouldn't want to just land on top of them? Let's just land on the edge, I guess. Select equipment and stratagems. Well, I don't have anything, I don't think. Uh, orbital precision, unlimited. Yeah, I don't have any options there. Can't change any of that. My equipment I've already selected. They still don't show my my uh, my armor. Okay, well I guess that's that then. Diving to the ground can be a lifesaver, but it also makes you an easy target for melee units uh, 
Okay, that's... <laughs> Why is my foot in, in the air? Like, that's stupid. Where do I see how much bullets I have left? What the fuck? How is it already done? I didn't do anything. Like, am I right arm? Apparently has damage. Call in ammo when low on ammo. Okay, let's call in. Uh, resupply. Okay, down, down. Down, down, up, right. Sending down equipment package. So how do I yield my arm? Can I loot them? Nope, and you can walk right through them. There's no collision whatsoever. Can't liberate with this broken arm. Oh, is my arm broken? But what do I have to use a a, a, a med pick a med pack to heal it or what? Also, uh, do I have the? Uh, no, I don't have the machine gun. So, I don't think there's anything stopping me from calling in the machine gun right now. I mean, w why wouldn't you just call it in right away? And then I do now I have one I have one magazine, it looks like. That I have five magazines, that I have seven magazines. Okay, so am I supposed to go to that blue or what? Let's look at the edge of the map. Oh, just a bunch of water. I don't like these water droplets on my screen. Extraction is available. Like, the game isn't pointing me like where I should go for extraction. It just says extraction available. And this is my very first fucking mission. It's supposed to tell me how to extract, where to extract, when to extract, and it's not telling me anything on my very first fucking mission like this stuff can i do anything okay well apparently i can shoot it Can't liberate with this broken arm. yes i know my arm is broken thank you very much All divers operate against the clock. Complete your mission before the super destroyer leaves low orbit. 
why would the 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 ship leave like why what's the reason why you have to rush and what's the reason why the ship just leaves people on the planet like what's the logical reason behind that like there's a crashed thing over here can't i loot it or something like that Oh shit. Okay, well apparently those things explode. Once again, that would have been some something that would be nice to to tell the player. Go get some more ammo. I guess we can heal as well. Can't liberate with this broken arm. Uh, what was the button for healing again? Forgot. Marking location. Oh. No. Cancel that. What was the healing button? Why doesn't it even show a button? It doesn't show a button for any of these. Look at that. Not the single fucking button. So wh what? Why doesn't it show buttons? I can't remember what the button was. G is grenade. E. F. J H. Gotta fix this liberty forsaken C R ah, V. There we go. Okay, apparently it's V. Uh, can we reload? Okay, well, first I should probably see. Okay, you do get um, ammo from it again. Okay. Um, so, like, there's a bunch of stuff, like, I mean, there's a, there's a car over there, there's a small facility over there, there's something over there, there's something over here, but so far I haven't found a single thing that I can actually loot. Like, it seems that they, there's nothing to do, nothing to collect, nothing to loot. What's this? Malfunctioning helipods. Oh, destroy. Jump back, okay. I don't know how to use it. Like the, the, the 
creatures don't drop anything. You don't get anything from the creatures whatsoever. Found something. So these are the very first um, things that I found. What do you do with these? Like, what am I supposed to do? Arc thrower. Okay, a lot of lag. A bunch of enemies over there. Don't know if I want to engage them. And I don't know if this weapon is better than my... Uh, what the fuck? Better than my machine gun or not? them but I don't know if it's good or not really does like chain you know it does chain damage it's like a chain lightning weapon well i guess it's not bad not terrible but you you can only have this gun or the machine gun you can't have both Yeah, I killed three of them with one hit there. That's not bad. Not bad at all. And the, ma the magazine seems to be quite big. Or at least shooting with a gun doesn't use a lot of um, ammo. There's something here. Grenades, well, I already have a uh, full <laughs> grenades, I guess. Yes, yes, you've said that already. So, like, some of these buildings are actually give you stuff, but... The, some of it is just nothing, like absolutely nothing. Like this, this, this is nothing. And that other car that we found earlier is also nothing. Found something. Yeah, I guess there's uh, sometimes you get stuff, sometimes you don't get stuff. I would prefer it if you always found stuff, even if they reduced the amount of clutter. 
because it just feels bad running over to a place like this and then um, not finding anything. Found something. I'm actually liking this gun more and more. Sometimes when I shoot, even though my crosshair is directly over the enemy, nothing happens. I, I don't understand why that happens. Okay, well, I guess we can extract. We're not too far away. See there, nothing happened, nothing happened. Nothing happened. Nothing happened. I just don't understand why sometimes nothing happens. I don't know if it's a glitch or what it is. happened nothing happened nothing happened nothing happened ETA T minus one minute and thirty seconds nothing happened
I wonder if there's a time limit or not. Doesn't look like there's a time limit so far. Because it's still allowing me to walk around and it's not bitching at me or anything like that. So I guess the only issue is that while you're standing around here doing nothing there's infinitely spawning enemies because i'm assuming these are infinitely spawning which is really shitty i hate games that have infinitely spawning enemies because it's pretty fucking obvious if i were not to call in the 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 ship that i would have still been able to walk around all of that kind of stuff without these infinitely spawning enemies coming from that direction constantly, you know? So, yeah, I, I do not like the infinitely spawning enemies at all. Okay, well, let's get out of here, I guess. Hills, blah, blah, blah. Okay. Good work collecting so many samples. Okay, so only now I unlocked the easy difficulty. So I don't like the fact that you don't even have the easy difficulty or normal or hard or anything like that available on your very first mission like they should allow you to choose any difficulty that you want from the beginning also the faces in this game look really weird like the faces are just 
they don't look normal. Acquisitions, what's that? Ah, and here we go with the battle pass. So this is the battle pass. And uh, apparently you can just like play the game and get the stuff. But you can also buy them. Of course you can also buy them. So what's this? So can you even see info? Yeah, you see. So here, the uh, battle pass has actual weapons and actual armor that have actual um, impacts on the game. And um, you can buy them, apparently. So, like, you can buy the super credits. Um, it's similar to V-Bucks. I mean, this is literally the same exact system that Fortnite uses. So, you can buy the V-Bucks. Uh, let's do that. Okay, we get 100 V-Bucks. And as you go down, you get more stuff and more weapons, all of that kind of stuff. But uh, you can apparently also buy them. I just need to figure out how to actually buy them. Super store. So these, uh, this is the premium credits over here. Um, they even have reviews here in the in the game and i can bet you any amount of money i can bet you seven trillion dollars that you will not see a single one star review here not the single one oh actually it says it over here these are not real real reviews okay now what the fuck is the point of putting this over here if it's not real reviews. Fucking stupid. And uh, of course, just to drive FOMO even more, uh, these offers uh, are on a rotation. So that encourages FOMO and that encourages purchasing. So once again, the game uses exactly the same uh, store system as um, Fortnite. And then you can buy uh, V bucks. So two thousand one hundred is twenty dollars. So well, a thousand is is ten. So we can use that amount. A thousand is ten. So if you look, this is basically two and a half dollars. This is one and a half dollars. This is one dollar twenty five. This is seventy five cents. And then here, I think you can also buy... Okay, so this one is $10. What does this actually do? Ah, here we go. So this is the premium uh, season pass. Or the battle pass, whatever you want to call it. So the, the free battle, battle pass is this one over here. And the premium battle pass is this one over here. So if you look at these items... Yeah, you can see it's uh, it has actual s uh, stats. It's not just like cosmetics or anything like that. These are actual items. And the armor as well. Actual armor. So yeah, like that's... You can buy actual items that have an actual impact on the game. Let's see, are, are there any that are, like, really, really powerful? Let's have a look. Grenades, you can buy pay-to-win grenades. So these have the same stats as the normal armor. So that would indicate that these are not pay to win, they are simply reskins of the normal armor that you start the game with. 
but I, I'm not too sure about these guns. I'm not sure if this is the same as another gun that you can simply find in the game. Obviously the incendiary grenades, I don't have access to, to incendiary grenades right now. I mean, I don't even have access to these ones, like incendiary and light armor penetrating. I don't have access to this shotgun and I don't have access to the incendiary grenade. So if I wanted to, I could take out my credit card right now and buy these. So that makes it obviously pay to win. And then anything else? No, I don't see anything else. So these credits you get simply by playing by playing the game. And then yeah, eventually you'll get like that one is the same as the similar uh, as the base one you start with. Same as the base one. This is an energy-based plasma rifle with explosive bullets, so I don't have access to that one yet. This is a shotgun, rounds reload, light armor penetrating. Yeah. So a lot of the guns I don't have access to, I don't have smoke, smoke grenades yet. That kind of stuff. So yeah, the game is pay to win. There are pay to win things that you can buy in the game. And uh, in a in a forty dollar game, uh, that is definitely not what you want to see. And I don't like the fact that the that the R acquisitions at the top of my screen is constantly there. Like it's constantly there, even if I press R. It doesn't go away. So it's literally the cash shop is constantly there at the top of your screen. Which is even more egregious in a pay to win game. And the game uses FOMO as I said. And again that uses FOMO is absolute scum. Okay blah 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 blah. Boosters. I haven't encountered boosters yet. But I'm sure we, we will. Helldiver. Operation Valiant Enclosure has begun. Join your fellow Helldivers in containing the Terminate Menace. Okay, and then... So we can do that exact same one again that we just did. This planet will be part of the barrier that halts the terminate spread. But first, it must be cleansed by the hell divers. Okay, so you have you have trivial missions like the one that we just did. Um Okay, so it, this one gives one uh, credit, I guess I can say, one skull credit. This one gives two skull credits. This one it doesn't say, doesn't say, doesn't say, doesn't say. So, what am I supposed to first... Oh yeah. So you first have to unlock this, and then this, then this, then this, then this. That's really stupid. Uh, so, okay. And then, what's this? Is this the same one? Oh yeah, all of, all of these are now set to difficulty 2. Okay. Uh, doo -doo -doo -doo. Defend freedom. Bug extermination. Bug extermination. Okay, well, I guess we can do another bug extermination one.
orders are still the same. Mission coordinates locked. Hellpods prime. Engaging orbital thrusters. Orbit synchronized. Like, isn't this game supposed to be a co-op game? Like, I'm not getting any co-op people, and I do have matchmaking set to public, so I don't understand why nobody is joining me. Literally playing online, and I have my thing set to public. Okay, well, I guess let's land over here. Like, am I supposed to wait a year, or what are you supposed to do? Like, must I wait a year? It, it doesn't show, like, connecting or um, matchmaking. It doesn't show matchmaking. Like, I mean, there's nothing happening. The game hasn't explained a lot of stuff, but not explaining multiplayer in a multiplayer game, that's a really big issue. Like, why are people not joining? Why is the game not searching for people? Like, I, I'm pretty sure I don't have any friends who are playing this game. Let's have a look. Yeah, no. I, I don't have a single uh, friend who is playing this game. I do have a bunch of Steam friends, but none of them are playing this game. And nobody is joining, like, from public or anything like that. So, uh, yeah, so much for the game being multiplayer, I guess. So the first thing we're gonna do is bring in the machine gun uh, unfortunately you lose your guns that you had previously so um yeah that's really stupid and then i think right away we can um bring in a supply there's not really any reason not to bring in a supply and your machine gun right at the beginning, you know? Because then you can already start working on the cooldown and all of that kind of stuff. Guy's dead, his arms are ripped off. Oh, stuttering, stuttering. That's not my PC, that's literally stuttering. As you can see, there's no fucking issue with my PC. In fact, if I look at my my computer, uh, right now the game is using 260 watts of power on my GPU and 75% of GPU usage. So it's not even really close to... Uh, max you know max is 310 watts of power usage and obviously 100 percent of gpu usage there's something here I 
one thing that I wonder um, is with multiplayer. Uh, if you if if someone goes over there and loots that, does the entire squad get the stuff, or only the person who looted it? Because if only the person who looted it gets the reward, then it really is going to cause a lot of loot goblining, you know? Just loot goblins running to the points of interest as fast as they can and looting fucking everything that they can. On the other hand, if it doesn't work that way and everyone in the team gets the materials then the problem is that it massively uh, benefits co-op play because solo players will have to run across the entire map and explore the entire map um, whereas when you are four players um, you're going to be able to uh, only uh, really have to explore 25 percent of the map in order to collect everything because there's four players so um, people who play in a party are going to be massively um, advantaged over people who play solo so it's really a double-edged sword and especially with apparently the game either being dead or matchmaking being being broken um i'm simply not finding a team so yeah it's it's not good when you are over advantaged in a co-op party and massively disadvantaged in a solo uh, capacity you know what they could do even though they won't do that but what they could do is make the loot that you collect as a solo player be quadruple so that will be really easy just give a solo player quadruple loot and that way they will be able to get the same loot that a party of four can get uh well they, they will be able to get more but they won't be able to uh search the entire map it's literally impossible for you to explore all of the points of interest in the game in the 40 minutes that they give you so you will not be able to explore everything so uh having quadruple loot will balance out uh at the end of the day because even though you can't explore the entire map you do at least get um more loot for the exploration that you did i think that will be a good alternative to simply over advantaging uh power players you know so i'm out of bullets for this gun completely Three war bond metals, that's nice. Uh, where's this boss that I actually have to find? Oh, the game actually has a minimap. That's cool. Oh, but you can't use it while... while shooting. 
Okay, well that's simple. Dropping a pin. Southwest. Over there. Okay. I also don't like the fact, like I said, that the normal enemies don't give you any loot whatsoever. Because that means that you literally always want to avoid combat. You're never going to want to engage in unnecessary combat because there's literally no rewards for it. And in an arcade shooter like this, that's not the correct way to encourage a person or a player to actually engage with the, the game, you know, the content of the game and all of that. A lot of ammo here. Bad. What the hell is this? I can't open it. Like all of that fighting and what reward do you really get? Like apart from the tiny amount of experience that I'm going to get for killing those guys, you don't really get anything. Fire in the hole. Mission at 30 minutes remaining. This thing stole. Like I still can't interact with this thing. And it, it shows a little thing there, but I can't interact with it at all. Main objective nearby. Oh shit, I forgot about those fucking things. hearing sounds but I'm not really seeing anything So what does this do? Hey, what does this do? field what does that do Say hello to democracy. Do 
Thief Artillery Static Field. Find ammo. Oh, is it this? Load into artillery gun. How do I do that? Over here. The tutorial in this game is just non-existent. What do you want more? Also, you can't run. You, you can't sprint when carrying these shells and once again like i said previously in situations like this where you actually have to do objectives you are going to be massively disadvantaged as a solo player because this objective would have been done by now it literally would have been done by now But because I'm a solo player, I have to do all of this shit myself. This better be worth it because I'm spending two minutes doing this shit. Seriously, they could have at least allowed you to sprint with this. Okay, so I get 200 um, R and 50 experience. Or two, maybe three minutes of work. How the hell didn't that kill any of them? More stuttering? Them loves to stutter. Okay, so where is that thing? I actually marked it. Oh, over there. Well, I'm not seeing anything. Like, this is literally... This is literally the place. Like, what the hell?
anti-material rifle. Okay, we can try it, even though I really like the uh, um, the machine gun. So, is there anything around here worth exploring? Still don't know what the jack, jack jump pack does. So where's the next that direction? Tagging map, northwest. So, how do you zoom? I mean, this is zoom. Like. Is this literally how you're supposed to shoot this bloody thing? You only have like five bullets, so you really have to make them count, to be honest. Uh, the gun is not terrible, but it, it really goes through um, ammunition very quickly. Sending down equipment package. Like, I wish you could zoom. Oh, wait, middle mouse button. Fucking hell. Like, I just literally pressed right click and then middle mouse button. Like, once again, the fucking tutorial. Like, you have to figure out all of the shit on your own by just pressing random buttons. The sight is also really terrible with this thing. Last reload. I think I'm gonna use the machine gun instead. You have served democracy world. Extraction awaits. Good.
Holy shit. Yeah, you wouldn't have been able to defend that wave with the antimatter rifle. Like, it just uses far too much ammo. You can't reload and run with this one, which is unfortunate, but um, as long as you plan your route well and when you're going to shoot, when you're going to reload, all of that kind of stuff, you don't really need to even worry about reloading in the middle of combat because you can finish an entire wave with this thing most of the time. Oh, that's... Okay, so you press and hold spacebar, apparently. Once again, I just randomly tried to press and hold spacebar and I started to fly. So that's another thing that um, the game doesn't even tell you. Okay, so that's the extraction over there. Like, there I, I killed two different bug uh, explosions, whatever you call it. I think it's a bug explosion. And I did it with one, one magazine, you know? So you really, really don't need to worry about reloading with this bloody thing. Like there's all of these buildings and all of these containers here and all of that shit, but nothing to interact with. No lootables, no collectibles. Like it seems literally the only way how you can get new guns is through the through redeeming them on the on the season pass. Throwing 
Holy shit. running out of ammo for this gun. Like this entire area has nothing that you can loot. This is a nice vantage point and they only they only really can come from there. Stuttering.
touchdown. What the fuck? Okay, well that was complete BS. If I had died there, I would not have been happy. Well, I guess that's that. Where the hell was I supposed to do uh, outposts destroyed? I didn't see a single one of those. Also, what does the uh, character level actually help? Like, from what I can see, it doesn't really help. Unless I'm missing something. Like, if you get level 2, level 3, level 4, level 5, what does that actually help? I killed almost a double the amount that I did in the previous one. Maybe we don't even need the TCS. You held divers seem to kill plenty of bugs just fine on your own. Like I I don't understand the leveling system. Like I'm level two right now, but like I can't even click on my thing. I can't even click there. Like I'm clicking, 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 clicking. Can't click on anything. The the R um, is re requisition. But what do you actually do with that? Like what? what? You spend it over here. Your destroyer only has access to a limited catalog of stratagem permits, but as you level up, more stratagems will become available for purchase. So there's machine gun, antimatter rifle, stalwart, a compact low caliber machine gun. Well, it's not going to be as good as this one. It also doesn't show the damage, does it? Oh, it doesn't show the damage. How useless is that? It doesn't even show the damage. Doesn't show the ammo capacity of the weapon. Doesn't show the fire rate. Like, what the fuck? How are you supposed to determine 
what weapon is good you know how are you supposed to, de to de determine anything with regards to your weapon choices And these are the, the the other ones, the offensive ones that you can call in. Once again, doesn't say the damage. Uh, doesn't say the area of effect. Nothing like that. Doesn't say the duration, like this one obviously has a duration. Doesn't say that. Here's another bunch of stuff, doesn't say anything with regards to that, doesn't say the damage, doesn't say the, the area of effect or the range, doesn't say how many projectiles, like the game is fucking useless when it comes to providing you with information. But yeah, I see now that these cost money, so this uh, requisition is your money, basically. And as far as I can see, the only thing that you can use your, your money on is upgrades to your ship. That's literally all that you can do. So you can get different upgrades and different weapons and stuff like that using the money. But as you see, they're all uh, level locked. So you can't get them until you've played a significant amount of the game. And then uh, ship module. This is where you upgrade your destroyer to better support you in field. Upgrading modules will improve the effectiveness of stratagems you already own. This costs 60 of that green um, stuff. I've, I forgot the name, but 60 of those. So I've done two missions now and I've picked up 11. So you're going to have to do quite like probably around 10 to 15 missions quite a lot to unlock the single upgrade and then after that it's gonna be the the orange ones and after that it's gonna be the purple ones and it doesn't really do that much increases the magazine the number of magazines decreases the cooldown decreases the cooldown Reduces damage fall off from center of explosions caused by orbital stratagem. So that basically increases your range a little bit. Fires one more barrage. Reduces cooldown. Reduces cooldown. So these just make your your stratagems, your your defensive and offensive stratagems, a little bit better. Like ten percent is fucking negligible, basically. And that's it. That's that's seemingly all that you can do with your money. And then obviously there's the, the premium currency of which I have 120 right now. And the premium cur currency um, you spend on the premium stuff, the, the premium battle pass. And then there's also the superstore where you can also spend shit. And then of course you can buy shit. So... Yeah, and the game is pay to win. We've already uh, established that since you can literally buy items that are more powerful than those that you start with. 
and those that you do not have access to at the beginning like right now if i wanted to i could buy a, a plasma rifle i can buy a, a, a automatic shotgun a whole bunch of shit and then um uh, there's also the boosts i don't know how the boosts like where you get the boosts but the game does have boosts so that's similar to something like um uh warframe for in instance obviously warframe is pay to win um so this will be similar to warframe's stuff probably i don't know i'm speaking under correction but that's the only thing that i've ever seen boosters actually do it boosts your experience or boosts your credit earning or that kind of stuff so yeah pay to win in a 40 dollar game uh, but apart from the pay to win aspects can i recommend the game uh honestly for for 40 dollars like i would rather play like outriders uh, outriders is actually a really nice game uh, the game was fucking terrible when it released you know when when outriders released but it it's actually pretty good now uh, i've actually played a, a significant amount of the game of, of outriders and um it's it's actually a fun a fun game it's definitely a game that i can recommend but uh this game like when you compare outriders to this game this game is just far inferior like the game seemingly has no um drop loot like no loot that drops in the missions you are able to keep so like all of the loot or all of your equipment in the entire game is unlocked via uh, the season pass or buying it you have to buy it with your credits over here or you have to buy it in the season pass stuff like this so like there's no dropped loot in the game and that's just really inferior in my opinion that's an inferior progression system for the character if you compare it to something like uh, borderlands or outriders or any of those games that have dropped loot i just vastly prefer dropped loot over having to buy it in a battle pass or having to farm a shitload of credits doing missions one after the other and then eventually being able to afford any of these weapons some of these cost five thousand so uh, considering that i've been playing the game for two hours and i've only collected 2700 already you can see that you're gonna have to do hours and hours of farming just to afford a single weapon or a single upgrade a single ship upgrade even so it's just not a good progression system to be honest and uh, overall the game is not fun and and i i don't know why i don't know if the game is dead um but uh, i do have matchmaking privacy set to public and i've now done two maps uh, and it's literally launch day literally the game launched today and uh, i haven't gotten a single uh, teammate yet i haven't gotten a single party so i don't know if the game is dead but clearly um the game just doesn't have parties for some reason and as i said uh, like i'm a solo player i prefer to play these games solo but i hate it when a solo player is disadvantaged like whether you play solo or whether you play co-op the game must not advantage one over the other 
and this game massively advantages uh, co-op play for the reasons which I already mentioned with regards to objectives, completing objectives, collecting resources, doing the mission and all of that kind of stuff. So um, me as a single uh, solo player would not recommend this game because you are simply not going to be able to progress and collect as much stuff on the map as fast as a, uh, anyone who is playing with a team. Like, you must play this game with a team, basically. And, like I said, I've now done two maps, haven't gotten a single party yet, so there's either an issue with the game, or nobody is playing the game. It's, it's one of those two, because I do have an online connection. In fact, I think the game doesn't even allow you to play without an online connection. And then I have matchmaking privacy set to public as well. We can actually test that very quickly. Let's test that before I end today. Can you play the game without an online connection? Let's quickly have a look. Uh, your screen is going to go black, but just bear with me. So I'm going to disconnect from the internet right now. And then uh, I am going to uh, try to start the game. So the game is just updating quickly, syncing with Steam. Let's just give it a second. Okay, so here I am going to disconnect from the internet. Boom, just like that. Able, that's my VPN. And now we can try to play the game. And it says, Game Guard failed to connect to the update server. Check your network connection and try again later. So it is not allowing you to play the game offline. So you can't even play the game offline. So um, it's an online only game. And yet, it doesn't even allow you to play with a team. Uh, and, uh, like, even if you are online, as I was this entire time, because the game doesn't even allow you to play offline, uh, even when you are online, you, you don't get f people. You don't get people into your squad. Like, I've played two games, and... I just wasn't able to get even a single person. So, um, yeah, honestly, it's not a solo friendly game at fucking all. The game has pay to win stuff. Uh, this DLC over here also has pay to win. You can see it's $20. And um, you get a weapon. You get a cape, you get a weapon, a whole bunch of stuff. So, like, the game is pay to win, and I really, really hate it when a game has the audacity to charge $40 and have pay to win stuff in the game as well. And premium currency and battle passes and all of that bullshit. It's, it's just not cool. So... Uh, in addition to that, like I said, they uh, require you to link your Steam account to a PlayStation Network account as well, which is really shitty. Any game that forces you to link a third-party account or to create a third-party account or any of that kind of bullshit, I, I just don't like at all. So, uh, yeah, guys, I, I can't recommend the game. The game isn't fun. Like I said, I would much rather play uh, Outriders. Like, Outriders is not a bad game. Um, it used to be uh, a lot worse. But Outriders is actually quite playable these days. You can see I have 15 hours in the game. I have done a, a review on the game as well. 
And even though the game hasn't received an update in a year and a half, um, I definitely can recommend Outriders. I actually see they have like a, a thing here. Oh, it's just like they basically are packaging the World Slayer DLC together with a normal game and then they're calling it Complete Edition. But anyway, um, like I said, Outriders or even something like um, Borderlands, uh, I can much more uh, recommend those games. And it's really sad because Helldivers 1, like the first Helldivers, is the best twin stick top down uh, shooter that I've ever played. That's how good Helldivers 1 is. Helldivers is the best twin stick shooter I've ever played. And uh, it's really sad that Helldivers 2 is so bad. It's just really. They, they really went backwards with this game. And then on top of that, they added a whole bunch of pay-to-win bullshit and battle passes and premium shit, which is just not good. So, yeah, anyway, guys, that is pretty much it. It's disappointing. I've... Uh, had uh, high hopes for this game because like I said the first game was such a good game but um, yeah I guess that's what uh, greed does to you they wanted to transform Helldivers 2 into a live service and this is the result it, it is a vastly inferior game when you compare it to something like Helldivers 1 um, so yeah, guys, um, like I said at the beginning, this game was bought with your support on my Patreon. So if you want to see more reviews, then you can support me on patreon.com forward slash LFP. It is massively appreciated. It allows me to buy games like this and to review them for you guys so that hopefully I can give you some good consumer advice. So yeah guys, that is it. Thanks a lot for watching and I'll see you guys next time.